Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 2nd through the 8th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Scorpio. What is this on? Let's see what's going on. Alright, the overall energy for the reading, the Knight of Swords. You're taking action towards something here. You're making something happen. Okay. And there's some pauses in there. Let, let's see. In the recent past, the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Empress. You dealt with a pretty rough energy here by the looks of it. I feel like things were possibly slowed down because there's one energy here that appears to be quite rough around the edges. And I don't think that's your energy. I feel like this is someone you've been dealing with. But, um... In the current situation, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, really wanting to, to balance something out. You're putting in effort into a situation to correct it, possibly to make it better, you know, to bring it into that place of balance there. But there's a hold on it. There's a little bit of, you know, you're putting in the effort now and it might come together in two years. I don't know. There's a little bit of something in there where there's... Kind of like, hold your horses, you know? Like, yeah, we're doing this, but not right now. So I am not sure what this is. Why is this this? Just trying to distract me here. Anyways, in the immediate future, the star, the four of wands, the ace of swords. Okay, you want commitment here. That's your ultimate desire. That's where your energy is going towards creating commitment in a particular situation. I've got a lot of cat hair on me. Anyways, let's see. Let's clarify. Oopsie doops. For the Knight of Swords, you get the Six of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Fool. Yeah, man, you, you've got this, like, laser focus kind of look. I want to get this done, and I'll get it done, and I'll put all of my energy forward to get this done. And this, meaning something, has to fall into balance here. You're either trying to bring something back together in a healthy way or, again, repair something that was broken. I don't know. But there's a sense of balance tied up to this determination of yours. And you've got, you've got, you've got zest here. You've got it going on. You're like, okay, I'm going to make it happen. A lot of, you know, positive thinking with this one. Feeling good about it, just thinking about it. Um, let me see. Let me see that Queen of Swords there in the recent past. The High Priestess, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so whoever this was slash is, because I don't know if they're still around, but uh, this rough around the edges energy. At the end of the day, I see them representing happiness for you, you know? Uh, it was really, really hard to get to that place of happiness, though. It was really hard. It was one of those, you know, out of a year, for the most part, it would feel really hard. And then you get, I don't know, a week in total where things are really, really happy. At least that's how you felt. That yeah, this is my happiness. It's right here. It's right here. Okay. Then why is it hard? Happiness shouldn't be hard. Anyways, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. The Knight of Pentacles. Four of Cups. The Empress. The Strength card. Yeah. Really, really, really slow movement and looking at the slow movement from a sense of disappointment, but the slow movement wasn't coming from you. It was coming from the other side because the response rate that they had going on was very 
delayed, very, you know, you're bringing in energies. And then, as I said, out of one year, maybe they're responding in a positive way uh, twice. I don't know, something. There's not much involvement in there. There's not much response to what you're bringing in. That's why it was hard. That's why you're disappointed in this. It takes a lot for you to be in this situation, but you still are, at least at that time. Let me do the Empress. Page of Swords, Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands. This wasn't equal give and take at all. I don't know how it is now. And I kind of get your energy right about now because you're showing me that energy of balance, of equal give and take, and that's your intention. Uh, The ironic part about this is that you were all in in the past there and the energy that was coming back it wasn't the way i see it this energy that you were working with was doing something like very little just you know from time to time very little and you were like oh my god oh my god oh my god that's a lot just because they were doing something which yeah in contrast with them doing shit about shit it's gonna seem like it's a lot but it's not equal give and take, you know? So that's where I see them. They're kind of giving just a little bit, just a, just a little, no, 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 don't overdo it, you know? But then kind of taking it as if, oh my God, look what happened. What? They gave. Hmm. Really? You know, so this was never equal give and take. And again, ironically, I'm seeing you as being the one that wants to bring that energy in. It could be that you may have noticed that, okay, over there it wasn't. So I'm going to go look for where I can find that energy. Hopefully, you're not trying to bring it in into this situation because you can't force them to give more than they're giving. That has to come from them. The realization of things not being equal give and take must be on both sides so that one of you realizes okay i'm not i'm not giving here too much you know uh and hopefully the right one will realize that because a lot of the times the one that's given a lot is going to say i'm not giving enough ironically and then we have a different issue but um yeah let's see let's see the six of pentacles in the current situation The Nine of Cups, the Sun, the Five of Swords. Yeah, that's what I thought. So as I said, you are uh, seeking this energy of equal give and take. You are trying to make it happen. But how you're trying to make it happen by the looks of it is you're saying, I've got all of this energy. I've got so much happiness, so much of this, so much of that, so much of everything that I can give for them too. And then the BS card falls on top of that, you know, the, the deceit. Because you can't. As much as you want, as much as you may try, you can't cover their share of what they need to give. Let's do the three of wands. That's why there's this big pause, because it's like, oh, okay. It still doesn't feel like equal give and take, so let's... Let's uh, restructure. For the Three of Wands, you get the Three of Swords, the Hangman, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a big pause in the middle of all of this because I feel like, yeah, you're coming in pretty excited, pretty, I've got it all. And then when you see you're giving your all, you're exhausting yourself, basically. And that's it. Because equal give and take means you've got energy to give all the time. It's flowing. It's natural. It's organic. But something's coming right back at you where it kind of feels like you're charging up so that you can give back. So it's a, it's a normal flow here. When you're giving it all, you're throwing it all into something thinking, I got them covered, it's fine. Guess what you're left with? Because nothing's coming back. With nothing, with exhaustion. So this pause here is quite normal. Where you're kind of looking like, okay, I got to take care of me now. But yeah, you got it. You know, and plus, it brings a ton of pain. 
because there's nothing coming back. Um, oof, man. Let's do the Seven of Pentacles. In the current situation, the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups. Yeah, and I don't know. I'm kind of starting to see this as a pattern for you in terms of maybe it is what you're going through right now and it's a, you know, an isolated incident here. But I'm kind of getting to see it as a pattern um, where it almost looks like when there is lacking from the other side, you step it up and you give way more. And then you get drained out completely. And then you're like, what the hell am I doing now? Oh, I know. Let me take care of myself. Let me recharge. And let me go back to it and try again. And again. And again. And again. That's why I'm kind of seeing it as a pattern. So you know how to recharge. You know how to give to yourself. Start doing that. And stop giving everything away. For nothing. As I said, this equal give and take flow should happen organic. You can't force it. If it's not happening with a person, it's because it's not meant to happen with that person. That doesn't mean that it can't happen someplace else with someone in a natural freaking way where you don't get exhausted, you know? So, I don't know. I keep on seeing you going back to that situation to give and give and give. Let's do the star in the immediate future. What'd you do? The Hierophant, the King of Cups, the star. I get it. You want for things to work out. You want for love here. That's where you think your heart belongs. And I feel like that's how you truly feel. You know, like it's tied up to something that you feel quite strongly about the situation. I get it. And you're showing me that's what I want. Noted. And pretty good energy. You know, a lot of determination, a lot of knowing what you really feel. You know, good. Now let's see. Four of Wands. The Five of Pentacles, the Moon, the Lovers. What you really want, you're actually scared of it by the looks of it. You know, yes, you've gained clarity in what it is that you want, but because you're scared of what it is that you want, it almost feels like you never really reach it uh, because there's always that fear that's standing in the way of you and your desire. Um, this whole pattern that you're finding yourself in could be a way of sabotaging yourself so that you don't reach it. Because when there's a fear somewhere in there and we function under that fear, we don't do it at a conscious level because it would be easy. We would be like, oh, it's that fear. Okay, let me take it, put it aside and work with it and see how that goes. No, how it works is there's this fear we go through life, through relationships, we grow up, we become adults, we become all sorts of things. And then we kind of sabotage everything around us in terms of usually, you know, close relationships or whatever the trauma is. And we sabotage it in such a way, we make it look in such a way where we repeat certain patterns in the same ways so that we create the scenario of, I'm never going to reach that true love for me, in this case for you, you know? Because you're showing me this is what I want, and then you're showing me you, and in the middle of you and that, there's that fear, there's that pattern of creating that impossible path to reach it. Not that you do it consciously, because we're not crazy, we're not doing that to ourselves, because we would, we would all be crazy. We're not doing it consciously. There's all sorts of energies that play a part in that. But it all comes down to the fear that's in the middle of you and your goal, you know? So look at this pattern in particular and see how it relates to this fear that's standing in the way of you and your desire when it comes to your heart. You know, let's do the Ace of Swords. The Page of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. interesting because in this one you're kind of showing me i'm always the one that wants to give everything to make something happen that's what sustains this pattern actually where you end up giving everything 
and the other energy, nothing. You know? So you're showing me this, and then you're showing me a stepping away from that, which is telling me you're tuning into this fear. You're tuning into this pattern. You're starting to break this pattern, because you don't break it just like that. You break parts of it. And that's where the energy is looking like, okay, I'm stepping away from doing that so that I don't sustain this pattern anymore. So you're getting it. You're getting it. Very subtle there, the way it's sneaking in, but you're getting it. Let's see what the universe has to close it off. <sighs> what? Wow, I haven't seen this lineup in, in quite a while. Uh, the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups. You got your shit together, basically. You know, you're showing up pretty much aligned within and balanced, way balanced between the mind, the heart, the you that you're out there in the world, basically. You know, it's looking pretty good where there's a lot of stability within you at this time. Um, the fact that some patterns are at play all the better because now you can spot them from this place you've got a better ability to catch them and to work with them so okay so you got your shit together you're good it's just a matter of you know working with certain things here that i feel like you will so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time